Hey, it's Joe and Nigel with the Grappling for Love Experience. And welcome to another episode with us. We have the girls with us today. They have colds, so they will be joining us for today's show. Say hey, girls. Hi, No, just say hey. Hi. Say hey, Pepe. Hey. <laughs> All right, hopefully they, uh, they let us do that. Hopefully they cooperate. All right, so the topic for today is... <clears throat> Do you need do you need to tell or should you tell someone when you get in a new relationship about your past relationship or relationships? Um, and like why or why not? So I'll let Nasha go first today okay. and talk about what she thinks and then I'll voice my opinion after. Okay. I have mixed perspectives on this. I think that you don't necessarily have to do a whole breakdown about your whole life, you know, before your spouse. And I think it really kind of depends on the type of relationship, like where you are and, you know, what, you know, what phase of your relationship you're in. I do think it's important that you're honest, you know, early within your relationship and you have that level of communication. Um, But back to my point, I think that if it could affect your relationship, possibly, I think that you should be very open with it. Like if you know that you were in a relationship with a person or you had an experience with the person that has now affected how you, you what your outlook is in other relationships i think it's important to talk about those things um and i think that um you know it's also what your spouse is also comfortable with knowing you know because maybe your spouse doesn't really care to know about those things but i think all of our past relationships not make us into the person that we are but they um those experiences affect the decisions that we make in a lot of cases like if we were hurt in a past relationship you know it will change it can change our outlook or our perspective as we move towards another relationship like your decisions um you know even if you had issues with like trust in the past like now being in a new relationship with the person who may not know your experience you know could affect it now when we're talking about specifically like who your past relationships were i think if you know, it is someone that the person also has a relationship with, maybe like an old friend or a colleague. Um, you know, I think that it's important to tell your spouse that. I don't know. I, I think it would probably really make me. I know I would feel a, a certain type of way. I know it would be like something that I have that I'm holding like a secret. So I think it's all really how a person looks at it. Because one person would be like, I'm in a new relationship. I don't even need to bring the, the past into this relationship. You know what I mean? So I get that too. Like you don't want that to now negatively affect you or impact you. So I think it's all how you look at it. I don't know. I don't know. Is that all over the place? I'm not. No, it wasn't all over. That was a, I like perspective anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess my opinion is if you, um, for the most part, only what no no overall no i think if it does deal with someone that the person knows you should let them know like they have a a relationship that person Mm -hmm. um it's good for them to know because they're going to be around them most likely like they're going to be in y'all space Mm -hmm. so it's important for them to at least know so they can kind of be aware of the position that they're in Mm -hmm. um so i would say that to that to that extent they should know however like just telling them about your relationships no i don't think that's something that you really need to talk about unless like the discussion comes up you don't have to hide stuff from it unless you want to you got some stuff you you know some skeletons you don't want to talk about but i don't i don't think you necessarily need to talk about your past relationships unless in some way it affected something that you do now like if it relates to a way that you are now which i'm sure everyone has something that happened in their relationship or relationships that relate to how they are um but if there's like a significant moment in your life or in your like relationship lifestyle that um you know impacts either how you are how you view things how you talk to someone um your perspective towards certain like anything then i think it's good to at least talk about that that way a person can understand if it came from you if it came from um another person's opinion that you also agreed with and now you have also accepted that is what it is um i think that's good to know but not everyone always cares about certain things like that i just particularly do because i evaluate um, i'm very big at evaluating like a person's decisions and why they are the way they are so i think um yeah i think you i think you can share about your past relationships but i don't think it's a big thing i, I i'm very big on focusing on the future like like with us um i didn't have 
we didn't I didn't really talk to Nigel a whole lot about like our past. Like we did talk about it. Like and over time we've talked about it a lot more. Like we we talk about it a lot now. Um, but in the very beginning when we first got into a relationship, we didn't really go really, really deep into all of the relationships that we've been in because it really wasn't it, it, I, want, I wanted to get to know who she w- is, not who she was. I didn't care about who she was. Um, that really wasn't important to me. What, what important was, who are you now? Who do you want to be? Where are you going? Who are you trying to be? Um, who are you with me? Which I love. <laughs> so that that was what was important to me. Yeah, I agree. So we, we, we agree do I when it stuff? comes to that. A little bit. A little bit. It's she, allergy she season. By. It's She's killing like, me. Um, but I, I still want to say, like, if it was, like, somebody, like, piggybacking off what you said, a friend. Oh, yeah, yeah. Th- If they were, like, friends you and you say, dated you gotta, them you in college and y'all had, like, a serious it. relationship or something like that, I think it's important to say something. I think that that could affect your relationship as soon as you know. Because you may, you get with a person, you have no idea the person you dated was best friends or, you know what I mean? Like, those things You'll happen. You always know. Um, right. So, so, yeah. So, tell us what you think. You know, oh, in yeah, reference share, to, share, yeah, share, it. share um, your perspective. Do you think that's important? Do you think that can play a positive or negative role? Um, I know a lot of it has to do with communicating and depending on your level of communication with your spouse, where you are and really what's important. Um, so tell us what you think. So thank you for joining us again for another um, episode of the Grappling for Couples Experience. Um, so yeah, leave us a post and share, share, share. Yes. Oh, the next video? Oh, so we yeah. Get a little snip, snip oh, it. yeah. Which one are we doing? Are we doing more of the fitness one or more of the actual grapple? Yeah, we're gonna show um, a some technique. technique. Yeah. So we got some nice. We got some different. We're gonna show you all. Um, it'll be different from like our regular just discussions. So uh, you'll like this one. Hopefully, some of you will really, really like it. it depends on uh, what you like to do with your significant other. But um, it will help you get closer. It'll help you when it comes to being comfortable touching each other. Um, and it'll be exciting. So, you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for uh, joining us this morning, the four of us. Say bye bye, girls. Bye bye, girls. No, so you just, <laughs> no, just, just say, say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, see you all later. <laughs>